To create the cartoon boom effect, you want to get yourself into Photoshop and as always, set it to 1280 times 720. You can keep the background content on transparent and then go ahead and press create. So once you've got yourself a fresh new project, we want to first of all, go down to the icon right at the bottom here, left click on here and get yourself a solid color. Now in here, we're going to set the background color. So you want to set it to any color that you want and you can then go ahead and press OK. Next thing to do is you want to go over to the text tool. You want to go ahead and set this to a white color. Press OK and then you want to left click on the screen, drag this out and then type in your text. Now the font that I'm using is called BD Cartoon Shout Regular. There'll be a link in the description if you'd like to download the same font. Now with the text, you also want to set it to something like 75 pixels. For the size of it, you want to pretty much cover most of the screen. Drag the corners of this box right in so the text is only what's inside the box. You can then go to the first tool, press Ctrl or Command and A to select it all, and then center align this text. You can then press Ctrl and D to deselect it. Now, the first thing that you want to do is you want to press Ctrl and T, hold Alt or Option key, and then drag the corners slightly in. Go ahead and go to the top screen right here, which will say Warp Modes. Now, what this allows you to do is you can create yourself a arc. And if you go to the bend right at the top, you can set this to 20. Once you're happy with your changes, you can go ahead and press Apply. You then want to right click on your text layer and convert this into a smart object. We can now press Ctrl and T. And the reason why we've done this is because we can now control the perspective of this text. So to control the perspective, it's really simple. You press and hold Ctrl or Command and then left click while holding Ctrl and drag the corners in to change the perspective. Now, what you want to do is you want to make the left side much more smaller and then make the right side much more bigger. And if you want to, you can also move this anywhere on the screen. You can even rotate this to something like, let's say 11 degrees. And once you're happy with your changes, go ahead and press the apply. You want to right click on your text, go to blending options. And in here, you want to, first of all, get yourself a simple stroke. You want to click on here and we're going to set this one to six pixels. Make sure it's on the inside and then set it to a white color and go ahead and press OK. Once you've done that, you want to get yourself another stroke. And for this one, you want to click on the bottom one. You want to set this one to 10 pixels, set it on the center for the position and you want to set the color to a black color and you can go ahead and press OK. Now, the next thing to do is to get yourself a inner glow. And in here, we're going to set this one to overlay. Set it on a hundred. You want to also set the size to 20. And of course, we're going to go into the contour, click on the down arrow and set it to the one underneath the very first one, which is this bend looking contour right here. You can then left click off of this and we can move on to the very next one, which is the gradient overlay. In the gradient overlay, you want to set this one to the hard light for the blend mode. You can then left click on the gradient, click on the very first one and then click on the color and set this one to F C F F zero zero, which will give you this nice yellow color. You can then press OK, go on to the second color right at the bottom here and click on the color and set this one to FF0000, which is this nice red color. You can then go ahead and press OK and click on the middle icon right here and set the location to 33. So this is going to make the red overpower the yellow. Go ahead and press OK. Next up, you want to change the angle to 109 and change the scale to 70. You also want to make sure that the method is on perspectral right here. 
and you are pretty much done with the grading overlay. And we can move on to the next one, which is the pattern overlay. Now for the pattern overlay, we have to manually create ourselves the pattern. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and press OK to save this right now. Once you've got it saved, you want to go to File right at the top, go to New, and get yourself a simple template of a thousand times a thousand pixels. You want to also make sure it's on transparent. Go ahead and press Create. In here, you want to go down to the Shape tool right at the bottom, right click in here, and go over to the Eclipse tool. Once you've got yourself the Eclipse tool, go to the top where it says Fill, and set it to a black color. You can left click off of this. And once you're ready, you can hold Shift, and then left click, drag this out, and get yourself a nice even circle of about 721 pixels. Once you've done that, we can minimize the properties, go into the first tool, Press Ctrl and 8, select it all, and then center align this in the center. Go ahead and press Ctrl and D right here. You can go to Edit right at the top, and then go down to Define Pattern. So we can save this pattern. We can call this whatever you want. You want to go ahead and press OK to save it, and then you can close this down. You don't have to save this project if you don't want to. We can come back to this one. You want to right click on this layer and go to blending options. So now that we've created ourselves a pattern, you can get yourself the pattern overlay. Left click on here and you want to click on the down arrow for the patterns. Scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see the pattern that you've just created. So you want to select your pattern, left click off of this. We can then start to change the opacity to 40% and then change the scale to 2%. And then finally, we have the very last effect in the drop shadow. So if you left click on here and get yourself the drop shadow, you can set this one to multiply, make sure it's on a black color, set the opacity to 100, make sure that you untick use global light and then set this one to 137. You want to set the distance to 20, set the spread to 40, Set the size to 18. And then finally, the very last one is going to be on the contour. You want to click on the down arrow and set yourself this one right here, which is really overpowering. You can left click off of this and you are pretty much done. Now, if you wanted to, you can go onto the styles right at the top and you can click on new style and save this as a boom. You want to make sure that you include layer blending options and then go ahead and press OK, and there you go. Now that you've done that, you can go ahead and press OK, and there you go. There is your Boom Cartoon text effect. Now, another thing to keep in mind is if your gradient looks a little bit off, for example, it is more overpowering on this side compared to that side, you can always right-click on here, go to Blending Options, go back onto the gradient, and you can just simply change the angle of it, 104 or 102 and you can see it's changed the look of it and that's pretty much it 